and such amendments will not cause... Without objection, the reading of the amendment is dispensed with, and the gentlelady is recognized for five minutes in support of her amendment. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you for reading a good part of that. I um, will repeat a little bit of it. Um, my amendment uh, prevents uh, this bill, H.R. 1435, from going into effect unless the director of the Environmental Protection Agency determines it will not harm the public health of environmental justice communities. The Clean Air Act waiver allows California to adopt stronger vehicle emission standards than the federal government. California has taken action to do just that. Its latest clean truck rule will provide more than $26 billion in public health benefits over the life of the regulation. There are real people behind this number. My constituents in Wilmington, California, a Latino community, have urged elected officials to address truck pollution and air pollution in their neighborhoods. These residents have said that their doctor visits, um, at their doctor visits, they are being diagnosed with respiratory issues like asthma. And we know that in my district, doctor offices have asthma inhalers piled up. Higher air pollution causes heart disease, lung disease, and cancer. This is an environmental justice issue for Latino communities and communities of color across our country. Now that clean vehicle technology has advanced, California and other states have stepped up to protect residents from zero emission car and truck standards that will lead to fewer early deaths, less trips to the hospital or the doctor's office, a decrease in lost work days because of poor health caused by pollution. And this Republican bill attacks California's ability to protect its residents. It also will hurt the public health of residents in other states that have adopted California vehicle standards. I want to urge my colleagues to support my amendment uh, to make sure this bill will not go into effect if it harms the health of environmental justice communities. Also, I want to take a moment um, because we heard um, some inaccurate information. There is this misconception that nobody wants to buy electric vehicles. That is just not true. It is just not true. There, if there are electric vehicles piling up someplace, there is a waiting list in the state of California. Send your vehicles to California because there are buyers there. As a matter of fact, there was a, a quote on how much electric vehicles cost. I think the number was like somewhere in the $60,000 mark. Number one, there are electric vehicles that are cheaper than that. But costs are going up for electric vehicles, at least in California. Why? Because there's a waiting list. Because more people want them. And so I just wish we would stop repeating this falsehood that there is no demand. There might be parts of the country where there might be some on the lot. I don't know where. But just to blanketly say there is not a demand or cars are piling up across the country is inaccurate, and I just want us to have a fair and accurate debate. And with that, I want to urge my colleagues to support my amendment, and I yield back. The gentlelady yields back. Mr. Joyce, for what purpose do you seek recognition? I wish to strike the last word in opposition to the amendment. Gentleman's recognized for five minutes. I thank my colleague for bringing health care into this discussion. As a rural physician, someone who worked to serve patients for over 25 years, I know the challenges 